Hello, John Britt here. Today we're going to do some reglazing. I thought I would show you this because a lot of people ask me and there's many ways that people will reglaze stuff uh, like put, putting um, glue on there like uh, Elmer's glue or something or they'll and then let it dry or they'll put on they'll heat up their pots and uh, to like 150 in the kiln and then dip them that way but I just use time and uh, dip the pots and then let the skim get on there and then I will dip them again so I'm going to show you right here so what I'll do is I'll get have a collection of pots like I'm ready to reglaze and I kind of feel like um, these I would have to throw these out if I wasn't going to reglaze them so I'm not losing anything I'm basically just recycling them and a lot of times I get some good results it is also surprising a lot of potters do multi-firing and this is one of the methods they use so I will collect all my pots. You know, if I decide that's ugly, I don't like that. The glaze wasn't thick enough. I'll have my glaze here. This is called copper. This is electric copper red. And I'll just dip it in here. So nothing uh, huge about it. And then I just, I don't even care if it misses a few spots. I just dip it in. I don't even think much about it. I'm just getting a skim on it. And then I'll just set them all in this place here and let them dry for a while. Sometimes I'll sit them outside. Sometimes I'll uh, wait till the next day and do it. And then what that does is it gives me something for the next layer to hook onto. So here you can see that I've let these dry and you can see there's, you know, it's pooled up there, but this is all dry. Now, I'm gonna just dip this in and then let it go. Now you will not, do not want to touch this now because this will rub off as soon as you touch it. See the trick to a lot of this is getting a thick enough layer because the glaze is vitrified and won't suck it up. So I just hold it like 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000. Okay, so I would just then go through and do the whole group that I had done one coat. And then, um, oh, just so you know, this is the glaze that I want it to look like. This is the copper red. And now what I'm wanting to do is getting some movement, because some of these pots are just not enough action. So I'll, I'll also add, this is called John's Straw Ash. Um, this is called, this is called Ashley Ash. It looks like this. See how drippy that, and this is a black glaze. So here's my glazes. And then here's like some washes that I do. The washes will be Rutile wash, and that's like 50 Rutile, 50 Gersley. Copper is copper carbon Gersley, and cobalt is cobalt and Gersley. So after I do my second dip on all these, I will then have a pot like this, and I can come in and just do some, uh, do some designs of some kind to get some action happening to make this pot a little more interesting. You know, and, and you could systematically go through here and do it a certain way, but a lot of times I just like to make them uh, sort of randomize them because I'm not sure what it's going to do. I know this ash glaze will make it really move, so I want to keep that more towards the top. Okay, and then I'll just put them on there, clean them up before I put them in the kiln. And, uh, and sometimes, like, I might even uh, just use, you know, just dip one into heat this real, I'll stir this good, and just do like that. And that might be my reglazing. Okay? So there's a million ways to do it. Now, the one thing to remember is that when you refire, the pot is vitrified. And so you don't want to go too fast through quartz inversion. Quartz inversion is at 1063 Fahrenheit. Uh, and so that's right in here, 1063F. So if you go fast through it, it'll expand 1 to 2 percent. So you don't want to go too fast. So here's my ramp. I do five things 100 to 200, it's 100 degrees an hour to 200. Uh, that's just to get water out of the glaze coat. Then I go up to 1050, which is just below the 1063. And then I go 50 degrees an hour to 1100. So it takes me about uh, half an hour to get through this range. And then I do my regular 500 an hour to 1976. 
and then 150 an hour to 225. This is in my book is called E1 and it's for cone 6 electric. And all I've done is added this section in here. So you can look in the book and see that. And uh, so reglaze about a thousand pots and we'll see you in the morning.